what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs we are going to dive in and just see what messages come out for you today i was trying to put her to sleep but she woke back up so all right let's see here what is going on for my scorpios a little leaf out the way What's going on with Scorpios? What's in the energy for Scorpios, please, Spirit? What's coming towards Scorpio? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? And y'all, happy Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> What's going on with Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios, please, Spirit? Let's see. All right, we have angel strength, okay, number 50. So there could be some changes that are going on in your life right now. Make sure you have the courage and the confidence to continue to push through, you know. <laughs> it's always some type of change. Yeah, angel balance. There's some things that are trying to balance out in your life right now. So it may be a little uncomfortable, uh, <laughs> but they're just saying, you know, reach within and grab that confidence and that courage that you need to and, and be strong. Okay, throughout this. And just know that you're being protected and guided throughout whatever this is that you're going through. All right, what's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpios? Yeah. Fish chakra. This is the third, the third, the third, the throat chakra. <laughs> number 39. We have number 50, which reduces to five. And then 39, which reduces to 12. And then 12 reduces to 3. So you may be seeing those numbers. And then 52, which reduces to 7. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, there's some things that are... Um, there could be some hidden communication coming in as well. About some sort of money, some sort of abundance. Yeah, blossoming abundance, woman holding a coin, and goddess of the moon. You may hear back from somebody with, about some type of financial situation or somebody... This could be like somebody paying you back, giving you some money. Could be a masculine or a feminine. It's just a feminine energy. Um, you may not see this money coming in. I don't know what that is. I'll clarify that though. Yeah, it's uh, angel balance and contract. It's it's owed to you. It's due to you. Whatever this is. Strategy. Yeah. Is is somebody could be trying to strategize on how to pay you back or how to. Give some it's some 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 sort of seed, like something tangible that somebody is trying to offer you or give to you in some sort of way. What is this? What is this that I'm picking up on? I have to know because this is bugging me. I can't. What is this? Um, let me pull those cards back out. Hold on, because I want to clarify it first. Wait just a second. Okay, what is what is this spirit? This is blossoming abundance. Woman holding a coin and goddess of the moon. What is this about coming towards Scorpio? Blossoming abundance. Woman holding a coin, goddess of the moon. Blossoming abundance. Woman holding a coin, goddess of the moon. It has to do with somebody that's jealous. Oh gosh. Okay. Blossoming abundance. Okay. Um. Control. The bottom of the deck. Uh, Spirit is asking you to be flexible about something that's going on. There's somebody in your energy that's um, envious, that's jealous. Pay attention to your details, like pay attention to your bank statements. Pay attention to money that you're lending out, money that you're giving out. Um, you're trying, it's, it's like spirit is trying to protect you from something or someone here um, that's jealous, that's envious of what, I don't know if this is you walking into your abundance, you stepping into this abundance. But there's this envious energy that's around you that's trying to either take from you, get something out of you here. The goddess of the moon, that's hidden intentions. Those are illusions here. Envy. Try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with the others. Watch your spending. You, you don't have to keep up with the Joneses. You don't have to compete. Watch your, watch your spending, how much you give. You don't have to impress anybody with your money as well. Says others could be envying your success. Careful who you trust with money matters. So don't be putting too much of your information out there when it comes to money, finances, and stability. 
uh, we have the planner card, which is, this is a great time to take a financial inventory and see what needs changing. So, you know, uh, check your bank statements. Have you been getting on Amazon too much? Have you been eating out too much? <laughs> Sounds like me. But um, are you overspending on things that you need to cut back on? Um, it says, pay attention to detail and create a plan to grow your business or personal finances here. So this is about saving, putting some back, you know, investing in the right proper things here. Some of y'all just could have to do with work. It says career, careers in event planning, project manager or professional organizer could be for you. And then we have angelic help. It says this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for. So if um, if you are trying to attract abundance, make sure you're speaking positive affirmations out. You know, I am successful. I am abundant. I attract money. You know, um, money flows to me. Money flows to me. Money leaves me. Money flows to me. Money leaves me. Money flows to me. Whatever you want to you know, put out in the universe here, um, burn you a couple of bay leaves, but like I did one the other day, um, where my little bay leaves at? Yeah, little bay leaves like this, I bought these at Kroger, okay, and you, you can write on there, you can write money, or like a certain amount of money, and you just burn it with the lighter, you know, do it outside, or whatever you need to do, burn it with the lighter, send it up, and you know, it's manifestation, okay, um, or cinnamon, you can burn cinnamon, or you can like um, mop with cinnamon. I've seen that. You can wipe your uh, your door, your front door with cinnamon. You can also like um, toss some cinnamon out the front door. It, it's supposed to bring abundance to your front door. Um, but anyway, uh, pay attention to the sight. I'm sorry, pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time. Make sure you're paying attention to your angel numbers. We have three, 42, 52. Uh, 42 reduces uh, to six. And then 52 reduces to 7, which is, you know, about money. And 3. And then 39 and 50. And then also, I've been seeing 111 and 1111. So, that may resonate with some of y'all as well. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that because I wanted to make sure what that was for y'all. What's at the top? Ooh, honey, baby. Don't sell your soul. <laughs> okay, don't sell out. If you're hitting like a hard time, you don't have to sell yourself short to, to make no money. It says, say yes to the things you think you can't do. Okay. And then we also have prudence, which is don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high. Put something aside for a rainy day. Stay within budget and start living within your means. Something about not having to impress other people. Like there could be people like maybe you're not bringing in the type of money that you want to right now. And so you may feel like, oh, man, look, they have something nice. They have this nice. You don't have to do all that. Money is going to flock to you. You know, money is going to come to you. Um, I don't feel like you're doing that. Anyway, th I feel like this is somebody. I'm about to clarify. Who is this? Because then you have unethical. And it says unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. And someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. So somebody could be, this could be somebody that's envious that this, uh, the spirit is trying to protect you from. That's why they're saying to, you know, look over your bank statements, look over money that you've lended out or look over, you know, certain things like that because spirit is trying to like, it's like spirit is blocking you from going towards something or someone. And like, I don't know if you keep trying to help them or you, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's the envy card? The Wheel of Fortune. What's the envy card? Okay, so somebody is mad. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This could be somebody that wants a new beginning with you, that wants to start over. Two of Cups. This could have been some, oh my gosh. You have lovers, Five of Cups, lovers, and Two of Cups. This is somebody who could have made a choice to get in another relationship or another connection here, okay? Or the, they regret not choosing you. There could have been some sort of betrayal here. We have the Ten of Swords. Ooh, child. But the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, this is faded change, okay? So this Page of Pentacles is like, I don't know, I don't know if they trying to like plant a seed with you with this Ace of Cups for a new beginning and you're not taking it or like they're going to come to you. This could be like an apology or like a business ordeal or something like that. Um, but there's some sort of, because Ace of Cups can also be some sort of creativity. So I don't know who this is. <laughs> But spirit is already trying to protect you from this person. I don't know if they're going to show you like, show you a sign or like, uh-uh. Let me do what's the tea on this. Hold on. Y'all, I'm sorry. I got to dig into this because I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Like, what, um, 
what's this in what's okay what's the this and this together spirit what is this this is somebody you've blocked or you may have to block what is this spirit oh no no don't fall hold on guys i'm about to have to lay her down somebody it says dirt digging let me see if i can get it i don't want to drop my baby yes i did it dirt digging looking for dirt on your vice versa yes i grabbed it with my feet okay Yes. <laughs> Say what you want, but baby, they come in handy. <laughs> Photo proof, getting evidence, ignoring. This could be someone that you're ignoring. This person could actually see that you're abundant, that you're stepping towards your abundance. You're walking towards your success. So they may see that you're able to afford certain things or you can buy things and, and stuff like that. This could be somebody that you've blocked, but they're still finding a way to like look you up, uh, dig up information on you, find out information on you or vice versa. Okay. But I feel like this is, this is somebody doing this to you. They're like trying to get information. Sorry, y'all. I gotta, I hate when my lips are dry. But this person, they're trying to like, give me another one. What's the envy? What, what is this spirit? Clarify this. Incarcerated in reverse. So this is someone that you're not allowing. Yeah, creeping. This person could have stepped out on you. You're not allowing them to run in and out of your life anymore here. And so it's like, they could be jealous because you're walking into this abundant time of your life here. And yeah, and you're unbothered with the offer. Look, an offer here, you're unbothered. Wolf and sheep's clothing. It's because you see this person as a lie, cheating, you know, snake in the grass. So this is somebody, and it's crazy. You see them that way, and that's exactly what they're doing, coming in envy with this envy energy. And then the unethical energy with the prudence card. This could be someone coming in being like, hey, you know, I need help with this. Or, hey, can you help me out with this? And like, this is someone that would jeopardize you, jeopardize your stability, just because they're jealous of what you have. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I spent a lot of time on that, but I wanted to gain clarity. Just to give you a heads up, honey, because... Somebody with the shiz not yet, if you get what I'm saying. All right, carry on. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> Let's clarify what else is going on here. Because, baby, that was a mess. <laughs> All right. Spirit, I'm not going to go too long on these cards right here since I dove into that. But I felt, for some reason, I felt like that was an important message that somebody needed to hear. All right, what's the angel strength? This, this may be where you need to speak up for yourself with the angel of strength and the fifth chakra. You may have to speak up for yourself and say no or say not going to happen or I can't do that. What's that? Whoa. Look what popped out. Look how these cars just popped out. Trust and health. Look, what's best for you? I just heard what's best for you. So trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you have to do. Oh, my gosh. They're playing that to Rajay. I, I got to put me first, Lucius, where she plays Cookie. I got to put me first, Lucius. I got to put me first. And she's crying. And it, it's like he wants her to sacrifice herself. Oh, my gosh. He wants her to sacrifice herself for him and the boys. And she's like, no, I got to put myself first this time. Like, I got to put me first. I can't do this. So somebody wants you to make some sort of sacrifice that's not good to you. Like, it's not good for your health. It's not good for your stability. It's not good for whatever you're trying to do, but they want you to sacrifice. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This could be somebody that you have love for, or this could be somebody wanting you to start something new with them that, you know, they know you have emotions for them, or or this could be, I mean, this could be a relationship, this could be a business contract, this could be working with them, partnering with them, something, but it's, um, it's it, they're benefiting from it. And you're not. It's like somebody that's envious of you wants you to come work with them because they don't like that you're doing better than them. It's, it's that. And they will jeopardize you just to make, just because they're jealous. Uh, baby, what? What's fish chakra What's for Scorpio? What's the fish chakra for Scorpio? Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Because, see, and this is the thing. Your, your self-esteem is on point. They know they know that you're self that you're secure with yourself here okay they know that and so you have to watch the way these whoever this is or whoever these people are how they talk to you how they use words 
And you have to be willing to really stand up for yourself because your words are going to be important with whatever this is that's coming in. Look what keeps coming out in thee. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I'm telling you, these are, these are people or a person that sees you abundant, sees you successful, sees you having things in your life, but they don't know your story. They don't know your background. They don't know what you've been through to get to where you are, you know, and, and, this this could be somebody that could be family, but they don't understand the 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 mental turmoil, the spiritual turmoil, the the emotional, you know, the physical, whatever. You could have put in hours and hours for this, or you could have uh, really did a lot of meditating for this. You could have um, really prayed on your knees, cried to the Most High, you know, God save her, whatever your belief is, because I don't want to offend anybody. But it took a lot for you to be secure with yourself to get where you are here, and somebody, you know has the audacity to be envious, you know, yes, and I said it, the audacity, okay, like, it's, it's messed up, it's kind of, it's, it's trifling, okay, but it's like, somebody doesn't understand your struggle, like, how dare they get this type of life, when, when I've been doing this, when I'm, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but you don't know what that person went through in the background, okay, angel strength, what's this about, angel strength, it's like we all have different battles that we have to fight and some may look easier than others, but you don't know what that person's triggers were. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, childhood wounds were like somebody could have dealt with abandonment issues and that was like their biggest battle to overcome for them. And another person could have dealt with like addictions and that was their biggest battle to overcome. And so everybody's battle looks different. You know, what's angel strength or Scorpio? Knight of Wands. Okay, so somebody could be coming in very passionately towards you here, or this is you. You could be moving. You could be uh, making some sort of progress here, you know, jumping on. Ooh, Eight of Cups, bottom of the deck. You may have to have the strength to walk away from something, Scorpio. We have the Hangman, High Priestess, and the Page of Cups. This could be an apology coming in, a love offer coming in here. And maybe, you know, it could be coming in quite fast, okay? But this Knight of Wands energy, the thing I don't like, this is my player card. This is someone that comes in, you know, hot, passionate, quick. But just as quick as that flame starts is as quick as it falls out. i just seen 1717, as, as quick as it burns out. So this could be like, somebody could be dealing with a sex addiction. Or somebody could deal with, you know, moving too fast or too quick on a situation here. And somebody needs to listen to the intuition when it comes to this page of cups offer. Again, it could be an apology. This could be somebody that walked away. Maybe maybe there's a person that, uh, that you're used to running in and out of your life and it's one of your weaknesses, you know. And it, every time this person comes in your life, you open the door to them because they apologize but some somebody needs to look at something from a different perspective here before they jump on something or before they make this quick move um this quick-minded decision like passionate decision like this is like this for example the example i'm going to give uh, i'm not saying that this is happening but the example i'm going to give is like somebody sees somebody and like dang way they are so attractive like oh my gosh i just want to bone them right and then like Knowing that they're they have a girlfriend at home or a boyfriend at home, and they're just like, oh, I I can't resist. That could be a person with a sex addiction. You know, they they like the the quick, fiery energy, right? And so they go and they sleep, and then there's these consequences all behind it. Like it's is that type of energy, or like somebody's like, oh my gosh, like this sounds like a great uh, money idea or a business idea. Let me jump up on it, and then you don't. You don't think it through. You just make like a hasty decision to jump on something. And then it's like it ends up putting you in a bind, putting you in something bad because you didn't think it through. You jumped too fast on it. OK, what's the fish chakra? Whoa. Five of cups. Want to pop out like that. An eight of swords. Somebody's in their head. There's a lot of mental anguish like. Somebody, I just heard failing. Somebody feels like they're failing or falling or or somebody somebody has regrets with this five of cups. Somebody's looking in the past here. Nine of wands, temperance energy. It's the wounded warrior energy here. Somebody is like trying to heal or, or feel balanced here. This could be somebody looking at you like, oh my gosh, how can this person, after they went through what they went through, how can they be so balanced? Or this is your story. Like in the past, like you look at what you've went through and you realize how balanced you've came, how uh, in alignment you are here 
how much you have healed, like the stages. If you look, she's went through different stages of her life here. She has different versions of herself to become balanced. So you've went through all of these stages to be secure with yourself. So again, it's like somebody doesn't understand your story. Somebody doesn't understand the battle that you had to go through within and, and on the outside in order to get to this temperance balance energy for you to be secure with who you are. Somebody may not understand that you went through an eating disorder or you went through an addiction or you went through abandonment or childhood neglect or, you know. Why the five of cups? So somebody's in a mental block. Yeah, the sun. Like somebody's seeing you, like the light is being shined on you. This could just be you speaking about your experience. And somebody's like, wow, how is that person so confident after they've went through all of this stuff, you know? And they're like, wow, this person, they're really secure with themselves. But they don't understand that you went through all of this stuff in your past. That if you look back, you still cry on it. Or if you look back, you still think about it like, wow, you know, I wonder where I would have been now if I wouldn't have went through what I went through. But it's like... You went through, and I hate to say this, but you went through what you went through. And baby, my past is, my past is not pretty. <laughs> a lot of us have went through some battles. So it's like to be confident and secure with myself as I am today, like it, it was torture. But it's like, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be who I am today. Like I wouldn't be able to help people. I wouldn't be able to like... I wouldn't have been led to tarot and stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So, a lot of y'all have went through a lot of stuff. Like, it's, uh, it's like the energy I feel. It's like, it's not, it doesn't make me want to cry, but it's like kind of empowering. Like, it's like a, a sigh of relief. Like, I made it, you know, type of energy. Like, oh my gosh, I got out of that. What's the angel of strength with the trust and the health card for Scorpio? Too busy winning. Zing! Oh, fishing for comments, baby. High five. Y'all, y'all got a lot, like, whatever this Knight of Wands energy, I don't like this Knight of Wands. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can put her down. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully she'll stay down for a little while. I don't like this Knight of Wands. I'm gonna clarify it. <laughs> but, um, you're winning, Scorpio. Whatever you've went through, people see this. Yes, and it's triggering people. Extra triggered, yeah. These are people that have told lies on you. Some of y'all, they could have said that you were promiscuous with this Knight of Wands. You were a player. Um, you slept around, you know. What's the angel strength in the trust and health card for Scorpio? But baby, you are so unbothered, honey. Look at you, unbothered. You're winning. You know, why why bother? Why be bothered when you're winning? When you're on top here. Yeah, dust it off. Honey, don't worry about these people coming in with this Knight of Wands energy. It's like rushing in trying to say stuff about you. Um what's this Knight of Wands for Scorpio? What's this Knight of Wands coffin? Okay, this is some yeah, this is somebody that you've ended something with. Expectation. Maybe they, they thought that you would never put an end to this. Some of y'all, y'all were just like a player. Like y'all, or y'all moved too quick on something. Y'all put an end to that and y'all like really focused. A journey in high honor. Yeah. Some of y'all have traveled. Y'all moved. Y'all made moves here. But it's like something's coming to an end. What is this that's coming to an end with this Knight of Wands? Despair? Baby, if you've been feeling like... For some of y'all... Set and wealth. For some of y'all, when it comes to business, if y'all were like having to like hustle, like make quick moves and stuff like that to, to get somewhere, you're not going to have to do that anymore. Like your money is going to look good. So don't watch out for these people that's coming in that just want to use you for your money with the coffin and the despair card that are in despair. These are people that have been in and out of your life, inconsistent, um, you know, as quick as they come in, as, as quick as they leave, you know, one night stand, you know, only around for temporary pleasure type of energy. Watch out for those type of people because this is why they're coming in. Because you're sitting in this sudden wealth energy. Like you're attracting abundance. You're winning here. What's the fish chakra with the self esteem? Legal issues. Yeah, wolf and sheep's clothing and bankrupt. Some of y'all need to be careful of like some sort of uh, person that's attached to you in a family that wears a mask. Okay, this person, they're either going through something financially and they're trying to like use you in some sort of way here with this legal issue, or this is just justice being served for something that something was done in the past here. 
could have had to do with somebody's ego. Somebody could have been very egotistical, feeling like they were better than you type of energy and they could have treated you some sort of way in the past and now it's coming back to bite okay looking you up researching you studying you getting info and confused yeah queen rising for a lot of y'all this person didn't or these people didn't see your worth and your value they didn't realize that you were the empress or the emperor and so they kind of just you know flaked on you maybe you weren't at the best part of your life that you needed to be maybe you weren't fully secure with yourself that you needed to be you know and it took some time. It took some healing. And now that you're healed and you're here, you know, people were confused on you. Like, that ain't nobody. They counted you out before you even had a chance to fight. You know what I'm saying? Or before you even got in the ring. They was like, yeah, that person ain't going to win. And then you got in there and come to find out, not only did you train hard, but you had a, a, a certain particular skills. <laughs> I'm thinking about that Taken movie. I have a particular set of skills that I have acquired over the years. <laughs> Yes, that's what it is. Like you, you've taken so much on because of what you went through. Somebody counted you out before you leveled up. That's all that is because somebody was in their ego. Like, oh my gosh, this could have been like an ex or something like that. That was like, mm, forget them. I could do better than them. And now people are looking you up, finding you, realizing like, I'm so confused. Why'd you let that person go? Because they look like they winning. Like they look like they doing good, honey. What, what was you doing? Yeah, spiritual hater ain't ish. This could have been somebody that was hating on your spirituality. This could have been somebody, maybe they judged you because of who you were. They, in the past, they could have said, oh, you a witch. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. Oh, you you Catholic. Oh, you, you know, whatever your belief is. They could have doubted you. And now they looking you up and they like, because honey, for example, let me use me for example. A lot of people in my past was like, oh, this girl is crazy. This girl is crazy. When I started this tarot channel. Like, oh, she's crazy. She out of her mind, you know, blah, 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 blah. And now they come and they look me up and they haven't seen me in a while. And they're like, wow, like you've really grown. You've expanded and like your readings be hidden. And I'm like, well, I mean, you know, I just went through, I went towards my purpose. I'm doing what I was called to do. And a lot of times people, you have to realize people aren't going to realize your vision. And that's okay. Maybe uh, look at Amazon. Somebody probably was like, you going to sell stuff online. You're going to let people come to your line and sell something. You're going to ship it off and send it to their home. And you think that's going to make money? And now look at it. Baby, Amazon is like one of the top, top people. Like this person, I don't know who owned it. I can't think of their name. But he is like one of the richest, wealthiest people in the world. Like who would have thought? <laughs> you know, five of cups. What's this? What's this five of cups for Scorpio? Yeah, high honor. I just heard, put some respect on my name. <laughs> Sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck. Five of cups. Now somebody is looking back in the past. Maybe they said something to you with this fifth chakra and the self-esteem. You might have had to like heal from something that somebody said to you. Like they spoke to you. They could have like talked down on you, talked negative to you in some sort of way. And you had to overcome that. Like you had to build yourself back up. I remember somebody in my past told me, they said, I don't want to, I don't want to be with you because you don't want nothing out of life. Like you don't want to, you don't want to expand. You don't want to grow. You don't want to build. Like you, you're just okay with the basic necessities, like working a nine to five for the rest of your life. And then just being happy where you are. And it wasn't that I was very happy with what I had. I had my family, you know, my children. And I was just like, I was, that was bliss to me. I was a very bare minimum type of person. Like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is everything I ever wished for as a kid. That's all I ever wanted. And so when this person walked out of my life, like I went through some stuff, okay? Like I went through some stuff, like my whole world fell apart and I had to be, it took years for me to build my self-esteem back up to really feel secure with myself because the words that that person had said hurt me to like the deepest core of, of my body. Like it was just the worst thing that somebody could have said because that it was my dream. And so I had to work on building myself back up. And then I started my tarot channel and like, just, I mean, I started working out. I started losing weight and like, it just the glow up, baby, the glow up, honey. It was just like, ah, you know, it, it's, it's, and if it wasn't for what I went through with that person, I wouldn't be here where I am today. So a lot of y'all, maybe y'all look at that, you know, like maybe y'all look back and be like, wow, you know, and yeah, it's sad and make you want to cry. Cause it's like, wow, I wish that person would have believed in me. But then it's like, if that person, if it wasn't for that person not believing in me, I wouldn't be where I am today.
So, cause that right there, baby, that gave me the push and the motivation to be like, man, you know what? I'm about to prove you wrong. I'm about to prove myself wrong. Like I deserve better than this. And I did, and I've been doing it ever since. So maybe some of y'all are going through that. Um, let's get your fortune cookie. We'll end it off with this. Scorpio, what's the message spirit for Scorpio? We have surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Okay, so some of y'all could be falling in love or you're like attracting love towards you here. Again, you have to love yourself before you can love somebody else. So, um, but whatever that disappointment was or whatever, you know, is going on, you're going to have some sort of surprise that comes in. Reinvent yourself. Yeah. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Maybe whatever foundation dream ever you, you had before is being broken down so that you can rebuild the life that you deserve. Okay. Sometimes we got to go through it. Okay. I'm just saying. But anyway, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys.